and welcome to your personal summary for Siebel CRM 25.6, brought to you by the Siebel Hub, your number one resource for always up-to-date Siebel CRM training. No matter if you're a Siebel veteran or just starting on your CRM career, the Siebel Hub has got you covered with a unique, world-class, always up-to-date training curriculum. Go to SiebelHub.com and start learning today. The Oracle Siebel team is firing on all cylinders and has shipped yet another feature-laden update for their flagship CRM product. Siebel CRM 25.6 is one for the history books, proving once again that Siebel CRM might be old but is far from obsolete. The Java Runtime Engine, or JRE, shipped with Siebel components gets hiked up from JRE 8 to JRE 21. Oracle Conference is back and provides a global caching engine. Redwood brings a fresh user experience to task-based UI. Desktop Integration Siebel Agent, or DESA, Siebel Approval Manager, SAM, and Email Marketing Server, EMS, have a new installer. Upgrades from versions prior to IP17 benefit from a new utility. Siebel to Kafka integration supports OAuth Bearer. And thanks to the Java 21 update, Tomcat 10.1 takes the stage as the application container of choice. Java-based components in the Siebel CRM architecture require a Java Runtime Engine, or JRE. To ensure smooth updates and avoid compatibility issues, Oracle ships the JRE with the Siebel binaries. With Siebel 25.6, Oracle hikes up the JRE version from 8 to 21. Naturally, this has implications for developers and administrators. To allow for a smooth upgrade to 25.6 or later, Oracle has documented important steps in the database upgrade guide. These steps include recompilation of all custom and third-party JAR files with JDK21. Tomcat 10.1 supersedes Tomcat 9.0 with Siebel CRM 25.6 and higher. Administrators are advised to take a full backup of any customized configuration file, such as server.xml, before attempting the update and to reapply customizations once the update is complete. If you've been around for a while, you might remember the now deprecated implementation of Oracle Coherence for Siebel Configurator. Fast forward to June 2025 and Coherence is back on the SMC menu, this time to support an enterprise-wide cache for runtime repository and user profile data. According to the Siebel System Administration Guide, Coherence Enterprise Cache aims to improve system performance in areas such as application or API login, component start, view navigation, and API throughput. Administrators use the Siebel Management Console, or SMC, to create and deploy profiles to enable Coherence Enterprise Cache. There even are two new application-level methods for Siebel eScript that allow developers to put and get strings to and from the Enterprise Cache. Exactly one year ago, Oracle shipped Siebel 24.6, which included the Redwood theme, an open UI theme inspired by the Oracle Redwood design system. With 25.6, Oracle takes another step on the path to Redwood with the availability of process-driven Redwood UX. Behind that term stands the initiative to use the well-established Siebel task-based UI to guide users through processes. Organizations using Siebel Customer Order Management will find new tasks in the repository after applying the repository upgrade. Oracle provides two new tasks for customer onboarding and order capture. These tasks, or rather their UI, are implemented with Redwood components powered by Oracle Jet, JavaScript extension toolkit. Indeed, Oracle Jet has officially landed in Siebel OpenUI. It remains to be seen how Siebel Redwood UI evolves, and we'll certainly keep an eye on it. Another area with significant changes is Desktop Integration Siebel Agent, or DESA for short. DESA 25.6 and onward is installed using the Oracle Universal Installer. Oracle recommends performing a fresh installation of DESA 25.6 as an update from prior versions is not possible. 
This is a one-time effort, as once you're on the new installation architecture, future monthly updates will be applied in place as usual. The new installer is also available, and the same rules apply for Siebel Approval Manager and Email Marketing Server. Customers still using Siebel versions prior to IP17, like IP16 or earlier, are feeling increasing pressure to upgrade to the latest release as operating systems, databases, and other important parts of the Siebel architecture are required to stay on current version. Besides being left behind on certified or supported auxiliary systems, customers on legacy Siebel versions are missing out on many new architectural and functional features. The process to upgrading Siebel CRM from version IP16 or earlier is a complex project requiring a lot of planning, expertise, and effort. It's good to hear that the upgrade utilities are constantly improved, as demonstrated by the availability of a new utility named Long Data Type Migration to assist with the conversion of obsolete physical column types. For example, the Long Column Type in Oracle is migrated to CLOB, Character Large Object. One relatively new feature in the integration realm is event publication and subscription for Apache Kafka. With Siebel 25.6 and higher, the connection from Siebel to Kafka can be secured with the OAuth bearer authentication mechanism. And now over to Alex for a quick overview of how to upgrade your servers and equally important, your Siebel CRM knowledge to the latest and greatest Siebel release. Alex? Well, thank you, Scott. And hello, everybody. Here's Alex from Black Sheep. IT Consulting, thank you for watching our monthly update videos. And it's time with 25.6 being such a beast and such a chock full uh, release that we review the process of updating to the current Siebel release from a release after IP17. So that's a continuous release model. And we start with the development or the DR environment. So the first thing you have to do and consider at every Siebel update is to take a complete backup of your environment, your machine images, your folders, uh, your database, of course, because the update will alter the file structure, the, the folders and the database. So you want to be able to revert back quickly. And if you're not sure about the outcome, uh, spin up a sandbox environment and test your update as long as it needs to become confident. You have then to start with a completely shutdown environment. So shut down the Siebel servers, gateways, AIs, the debug server on development environments definitely needs to be shut down as well. And then you run the MDE installer in update mode on the first of the Siebel servers typically. Um, because that includes the post-install database update. But you might also want to consider running the post-install database update manually. However, you have to complete it. So you check if the post-install database update is complete. And if it's not complete, you need to, well, <laughs> retry until it runs. So the post-install database update will update your database schema. It will insert seed data and it will insert manifest data, which Oracle deems mandatory for the gap between your releases. So the, the higher the gap, the bigger the gap. Let's say you're coming from a super old 20.5 or 20.6, which is five years old. Uh, then you have 12 times five, 60 months worth of Oracle mandatory updates and that will alter your database and will alter your content in the database. So then you run the MDE update mode installer on any other Siebel installation that you have, any Siebel servers, gateways, AIs, sidecars, Siebel tools, because you're in a development environment and any Siebel developer web client you might have and then you're ready to start up your enterprise. Uh, then it's time to ask the question, 
do we want to run a repository upgrade? The answer should actually be yes. You shouldn't actually leave too much a gap between the releases of the repository upgrade because again, you have that math 12, 12 times per year. So if you have a gap of three years since your last repository upgrade, you have 36 months worth of Oracle updates and Oracle is quite busy at producing those updates. So repository upgrade means it's optional, but you should actually consider strongly to run it frequently to not leave too much of a gap which leaves well your developers with their heads exploding about the conflicts etc so but if you say no to the repository upgrade then you might want to check the release notes for configuration instructions which you need to complete it depends on how you use Siebel CRM of course for example order management has quite often some config instructions. And then there's the big question of administrative changes. And with 25.6, we definitely say yes here. But in this short scenario, we say no, we, everything runs fine, we're done. So that's the shortest version of a, an update you can do. And the long version is you run the repository upgrade on the development environment, which inserts not only schema changes CData and manifest but also imports SIF files in merge mode from Oracle as if Oracle were an external developer and it imports that into a separate workspace so you are safe and can test it and resolve the conflict. If you don't run the repository upgrade but you have config instructions you apply those which is again development work and then uh, of course, you have to test those in your development environment as far as you can and deliver them. And then there's still the question of administrative changes. So uh, in 25.6, if you come from a release, let's say a few, a few months back, like 24 dot something or 25.1 even, you have two major admin changes that happen. One is the ODBC driver migration, if you use Oracle database, and the other one is the Java 21 migration with 25.6. Uh, you also might want to consider testing, you know, testing the waters with the new coherence enterprise cache, and you will have to reinstall DISA as just discussed, because it has a brand new installer architecture. So there's plenty of administrative changes actually you need to consider put on your checklist and implement those changes and of course that will take time and effort to test and then you are done with the development or DR update process. Now let's forward to test production or RR runtime repository environments. Uh, the process is quite similar so I've just will not repeat those steps. So again, you have to ensure post install database update runs on the environment. Then you run the update on any other Siebel installation in that environment and you start up your enterprise. Now the short path is if you don't have any repository changes and have no administrative changes, you would be done. But you will have administrative changes because it's 25.6 we talk about. So in case you have repository changes either through config instructions or by doing the repository upgrade, you need to migrate that repository upgrade and the resulting C data from the repository upgrade. Oracle provides you with a ENP file for the migration application and migrate that, test that thoroughly. You might use Siebel test automation and then again, we have those very important administrative changes in 25.6 that includes older versions. If you come from older versions, the, the same applies as in development environments. Make sure you, or if you use Oracle, your ODBC uh, migration went well, the Java 21 migration, you might have custom char files you need to recompile with JDK 21. You might want to test the coherence enterprise cache and if you use DISA in the test or production environments you will have to re-uninstall and reinstall it with the new 
Oracle Universal Installer. And that is just a few points that we take away from this update. And there might be more admin changes. So this is not a complete list. And uh, yeah, then we are done. Thank you. And well, the next big question on your checklist might be that not only your Siebel servers need an update for 25.6, uh, you or your team might need a knowledge update. And the Siebel Hub, together with uh, Oracle University, is very proud to provide you with the only always up to date Siebel CRM curriculum. Always up to date means that in short time after a major Siebel update is out, like 25.6, we will have updated our course materials for live training and the re respective video training. So if you have a one year subscription to the Siebel Hub video training, for example, administration, you will get an update on those videos. And we have more than 20 world-class Siebel CRM courses on, on SiebelHub.com. We provide expert instructors for the video trainings and the live trainings. You can purchase self-paced video trainings in a one-year subscription. You can take instructor-led training and coaching for larger teams. And we can even create tailored learning paths and learning experiences for individuals and teams alike. So go to SiebelHub.com and check out our learning offerings. Go Siebel, go Siebel 25. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye bye.